Hey, what's up everybody? Steve here from Gailey's Marine and uh, right here behind me we have the 2020 Mumba Max. The Max is a 22 feet 6 inch long boat. It's nice and deep, probably the deepest boat in the whole Mumba line. Uh, the boat weighs 4,500 pounds. It comes standard with 3,200 pounds of subfloor ballast and like this one we've opted for the 800 pound additional ballast. So 4,000 pounds completely subfloor ballast so when you're going for storage you're not having to fight storage or ballast. Now you get the best of both worlds. Along with a ton of ballast in a deep boat, we have the Flow 2 surf system on it. The Flow 2 surf system is gonna help us get the boat in a proper angle to give us that same great surf wave every single time. And to help us dial that in, we have Auto Wake, which we can actually program the angles in so that we know we're hitting that same angle every single time. Also along the back of the boat, you can see our nice big smart plate. That's gonna help us change the pitch of the boat so whether you're wakeboarding, wake surfing, just out for a cruise, we can adjust the altitude of the boat in the water on that plate. This particular boat, you can see we've added the surf pipe to it. Uh, surf pipe's been really nice, fresh air exhaust system, and then kind of quiet down some of the motor noise as well. So when you're back there surfing, you're getting the full effect from that wet sound stereo. Let's jump inside and take a little bit closer look, and then we'll shoot out to the water. So here we are inside the boat. As you can see, it's a very deep boat. Uh, it's also very comfortable along with the depth of it We also have a lot of cushion that wraps all the way down the side of the boat on both sides So uh, regardless of where you're sitting in the cockpit space, it's a nice comfortable spot uh, One of my favorites is actually this spot that I'm in new for this year The standard backrest behind the driver's seat right used to be an option now it comes with the boat also new standard equipment for this year is the transom walkover. So as you're getting in and out of the boat, you don't have to worry about people climbing all over your upholstery. There's a nice firm spot for them to stand and walk. It's got the gator step non-skid on it so nobody's going to slip and fall. To accommodate people getting from that step down into the boat, our center slide seat also has a step on it with the gator step so that uh, you've got a nice firm spot to step on this seat and you're not blowing out this rear cushion. Uh, we did a great job of tying it all together with this honey interior. Uh, the honey and white gives it a very clean, classy look. Uh, as we move up to the tower, you can see how much headroom I have. The clearance here is great, especially even with our Rev 8. I can stand almost six foot tall underneath the speakers without even touching them. So uh, if you got tall people in your family or that come out on the lake, you don't have to worry about smacking your head on the tower speakers just because of the depth of this boat. Uh, as we move forward, we're going to get into the glove box a little bit, the bow, and obviously the dash. So jump on in and we'll get into some more details. So one thing that I really liked about what Moomba did with the Max was they kept the uh, under dash area, under windshield area here, nice and clean. So if you notice, it's completely flat. We don't have a big glove box pod sticking up. So if you are out on a windy day, the driver's trying to stay behind the windshield, you can actually see through here without obstructions. Um, just a nice little plexiglass lid to give us access. There's a small tray here for, you know, keys and the little things. And then we have this other access door here that allows you to put the larger things in. So uh, backpacks, the ladies' purses, if you got a snack bag, really easy to cram that stuff in here. This storage compartment goes all the way over to the side of the boat, so there's plenty of room down there to store a ton of stuff. Uh, Speaking of storage, we also have a ton of storage under the observer seat compartment. Um, our batteries are here, and then this whole storage area runs all the way up through the front because of our subfloor ballast system. So uh, you got somebody in the family that wants to water ski occasionally, throw that water ski in here. It can run all the way up into the bow. You don't have to worry about crushing it with the ballast bag or anything like that. The driver's side of the dash is pretty simple as well. As you can see, it's nice and flat, just like the passenger side is. They've moved the screen off to the right-hand side so that the driver has plenty of visi visibility through the windshield. Uh, some nice little gator step accents here. Kind of ties the whole boat together and then gives you a, a good spot to throw your cell phone or your glasses or something and they're not going to slide around because of the grip. Um, stereo head unit over here on the left side. We do have zone control, which is standard with the Moomba, so we can separate the tower speakers from the in-boat speakers and control those volume levels separately. Uh, I love the little control levers on either side. This one here is our wake plate lever, so adjusting the wake plate while you're moving is all done on this stick here, and then adjusting our speed can be done on this one over here. So as you're pulling a rider, if you need to bump the speed up or down a little bit, that can all be done without taking your hands off the wheel. If you notice, all of our switches are on the right side of the dash, 
So as the driver is driving the boat, we got right hand on the throttle, left hand on the wheel. If you need to make any adjustments, right hand up to the controls, left hand still on the wheel and full control of the boat. Um, let's get a little bit closer look of the dash system. As you can see, it's a small digital gauge. It doesn't have any touch capabilities. Everything is just on these hot buttons down here. It's a very easy system to learn. So here in the bottom left, we have our speed control setting is currently off. If I push that button, the speed control is now on. On this side, we have ballast page. So we can view our ballast levels. We can also view our surf plates and our smart plate in the center. And then if we turn, we'll go back home real quick. If we hit this button again, that's gonna turn our auto wake system on. So now auto wake is on. If you go back to the ballast page, instead of seeing the ballast, you actually see the pitch and the roll setting. So what this is doing is it's trying to dial in the angle of the boat in the water. For surfing, we know that we need to have so much roll to the right or so much roll to the left to have a nice crisp wake for wakeboarding or even to have that nice barrel on top of our surf wave, we need to have the bow pitch at a certain angle. So we can program those angles, put it right into the dash system and hit that same mark every single time. The nice thing about auto wake is it factors in weight in the boat. So even if you have three people on the boat, it's gonna achieve that right angle. If you have 10 people on the boat, it's gonna achieve our programmed angle. So we are always getting the same position of the boat in the water, which is crucial when we're talking about clean surf waves and clean wakeboard wakes. Um, also on our dash screen here, let me go back. Um, right here in the middle, you see this potential bar and the actual bar. So that is actually a draft sensor that is gonna measure how deep the boat is being pushed down into the water. And that can help you gauge how big of a surf wave or a wakeboard wake you're gonna have. Probably used mostly for surfing because everybody's looking to maximize their wave. And this gives you the ability to see how much more potential the boat has, whether you wanna add more people weight, some lead ballast, um, some you know ballast bags and pump some additional water into them. So, a uh, really cool system from Moomba. It's very, very easy to learn, very easy to set up on the fly. Another nice option for this year is the adjustable seat base for the driver's seat. And then a standard feature is our oversized flip-up bolster. Uh, this gives you a lot of adjustability in the driver's seat height. So for the ladies out there, for teaching kids how to drive, you can really get that seat up high and give them a lot of visibility over the front of the boat. And then on those cold, windy days, you want to drop that seat down and hide behind the windshield. You can really get the seat down where you're out of the elements. So that's the uh, 2020 Max for you. One last thing that I want to show you back here on the back end of the boat is our storage compartments. Because of the depth of the boat, we really don't want to throw stuff down into storage and have to go diving for it to get life jackets and ropes out. So we have opted for the storage tubs back here. Gives you plenty of room between the two tubs on the outside, which are an option, and the over engine compartment tub, which is a standard feature. Plenty of storage room on the back of the boat for life jackets, ropes and handles, maybe a flag, all the stuff that you need during the day on the lake that you don't wanna go diving under the seats for. So there it is, 2020 Moomba Max. We're gonna pull this thing out of here and jam out to the lake, dump it in the water, let you look at the wake and wave, and um, Maybe we'll get wet while we're there. All right, so here we are. We're floating. Uh, couldn't ask for nicer water. Uh, only boat on the lake, so uh, we're, we're gonna fill it up with some ballast and uh, see what the wake and wave look like. Okay, so uh, we are all set up to go here. As you can see, my speed is set at 10.9 miles an hour. Uh, we are set up to surf on the left. I can easily switch that to the right by flipping this switch here. And you see we're set up to surf on the right. We go to the ballast page. My ballast is 100% all the way across. I haven't adjusted anything. I haven't turned auto wake to let it do its thing. You'll notice on this page, I have my smart plate here that I can adjust. It will always go to 100% for takeoff. And then once you're up and going, the plate will move to wherever you want it. And you can adjust that on the fly by uh, manually moving the lever. My port surf plate is on the left side. That means we're gonna get a right side surf wave. Uh, I can switch that over to the left on the fly. You can see that this side was at 70, this side's at 60. So uh, left and right do require a little bit different uh, plate settings sometimes. Uh, nice thing about the Moomba system, it's very easy to adjust on the fly just by arrowing up or down. So 
put the arrow down, you're gonna get more plate, the number gets bigger, but the plate is going down, so you're getting more plate to cause more roll to the left or right. So we're gonna go back to our factory setting of 60, and um, here we go, move a max, left surf wave. All right, so I'm about to jump in the water. We have full ballast set up. What I'm gonna do right now is show you how the auto wake system works. So if I press this button, that's gonna turn auto wake on. You can see my roll set is green. We want a roll of five degrees. We're currently sitting at 1.9, but once our plate engages, it will actually force us over to achieve that five degree roll, which is why it's green. On this side, you can see our pitch set. We're sitting at 1.1. It's programmed at nine degrees. So as we take off, the boat's going to try and reach 9 degrees. If it's under that or over that, it will start shifting ballast to help accommodate that. Um, so you'll see that change there. Here in the middle, our potential and our actual is pretty high in our amplitude meter. That means even though we're pretty light load, half a tank of gas today, uh, we should have a decent wave out of it. One thing that is a bit of a downfall to us here at our local lake, you can see right here, on my home screen, sitting in 10 feet of water. And we all know it takes 12 to 15 feet of water or more to really build a solid wave. But um, out here in 10 foot of water, with the ballast we have, we should be able to get a pretty nice surf wave. So here we go, let's check it out. So there you have it, uh, nice wave out of the Moomba Max. We're uh, limited here with our 10 feet of water. We got an extremely light load today on a uh, nice warm summer, summer day. We'd probably have eight or 10 people on the boat and that wave would just be monstrous. Uh, but still plenty of push. Uh, we probably could have bumped the speed up a little bit to give it a little more length, but to go out and cruise and have fun, it was perfect for today. So uh, 52 degree water is not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna jump into a wakeboard real quick and uh, show you what the wakeboard wake looks like. All right, so I'm all strapped in. Uh, our ballast is filled to 100%. Uh, Matt's gonna turn on auto wake before he takes off, and this is one of my favorite features of auto wake. You got somebody driving the boat that doesn't necessarily know how to adjust ballast from left to right while you're wakeboarding. Auto wake is gonna dial it in and do it all by itself. So I'm gonna go for a rip, let you guys check it out. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself, but here we go, still fun.
just a quick video to show you what auto wake did you can see we're in the grain all the way that means when we take off we're going to hit both our pitch set and our roll set um, to see what it actually did i could turn this off and there you see the ballast it actually dropped uh, the ballast on the starboard side the driver's side it dropped some ballast out of that side so that the boat would set level to give me that nice even wakeboard wake so there it is, auto wake, it's good stuff, it works, and uh, we're happy to have it, Moomba Boats. It is 2020 Moomba Max. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this answers some of the questions you had. Uh, if it doesn't, call us, email us, whatever you need. We're here to help you. We want to make sure that you're getting into the right boat. So you got questions? Go to Gailey's. That's what everybody else does. Thanks.